A very simple way of looking at the brain is that different functions of the brain can be uh, attributed to different locations of the brain so that people imagine that uh, language is localized in one particular anatomical site in the brain and if that's destroyed language is destroyed and in that line of thinking people imagine that there might be one anatomical site where the God experience lies. Now the trouble with this is that that isn't how the brain works and all of our recent understanding of the brain is that complicated functions like language, like emotion, are processed in a distributed network so the whole of the brain is involved more or less in these different processes. So you can't get one single area of damage to the brain that disrupts language. You can't. But you can get language disrupted in subtle ways by this or that different uh, lesion. So I would say that the search for a God spot is fundamentally flawed. And indeed all of the experiments that have been designed to find the God spot have not found it. All they have found is complicated networks of brain activation when people have this spiritual experience. And I would say, well, what's the surprise? Why should our brain behave differently when we have this spiritual experience as opposed to any other emotional or human behavior? Why should it be different?